hello guys yes yeah, shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i'm going to show you how to make butter and ghee at home ghee means clarified butter 100 percent pure and hygienic butter at your home that will be 100 times better than the market one so guys you can see that i stored malai malai means milk cream i stored it in the freezer for about one and a half month and you can see the container is full now and now i got time to make butter and ghee so guys it's a suggestion from me for you that if you get a little quantity of malai that means milk cream every day then store it in the freezer don't store it in the normal fridge in the normal fridge milk cream remains good for only one week not more than that so guys now i removed the container of the malai and now i'm going to keep it in the normal fridge for overnight and in the morning i'm going to make ghee and and butter so now i'm keeping it in the fridge normal fridge not outside and on the other hand i've kept some big quantity of water in the fridge to chill because we need a big quantity of chilled water to clean the makhan that means butter so guys let's keep it in the normal fridge and let's meet tomorrow tomorrow morning now the milk cream is very hard it has been iced up and within the night the ice will melt that means the milk cream will be soft so guys let's meet tomorrow morning guys it's the next day morning and i removed the container of malai out of the fridge and now it's soft you can notice it there's no ice in the malai so now we need to do the process of making butter first so we need a mixer jar i'm taking a blending jar a big jar here it is and uh, our quantity of malai is huge so i'm taking a half portion of it I'm going to do it in two batches. So I'm taking about half portion of the malai in the mixer jar. So here it is and it is left. I'm going to make butter from this portion later. At first I'm not going to add any water in the malai. Without any water I'm going to run the mixer for a while for about two to three minutes on medium speed. So let's do it. After blending for about 2 to 3 minutes, this is the texture, it is fully thickened and now I am going to add some chilled water. I am taking chilled water, so do not add so much water at a time, add only a little quantity of water at first and now I am going to blend it again for about 3 to 4 minutes and after three to four minutes this is the texture the butter is about to form now and it's fully thickened up very much thick it is so i'm going to add some more water of course chilled water and after that i'm going to blend it again until the butter is formed so for the full process i needed about seven minutes the time duration may vary from mixer to mixer that's not a problem you shouldn't stop the process until the butter is formed and another tip is don't run the mixer continuously run it spontaneously like on off on off like this so guys you can see that the butter is separated now and the butter milk is separated also so now we need to uh, separate the butter from the butter milk and wash the butter properly with chilled water here I have taken a huge quantity of chilled water, so I am taking a little portion from it. Okay, and now we need to take out the butter from the mixer jar and keep the butter in the chilled water. And after that we are going to wash it properly. And do not throw the buttermilk away, it is very healthy and full of nutrient values. So use it in your curry for gravy and you may use it for kneading dough for roti or chapati or you may make curry with it. So do not throw it away, use it and now I am going to strain the water, I am in the buttermilk and here our butter is on the strainer. I am going to take it out and wash it properly with the chilled water now. I am going to make it only butter that means I am not going to make ghee from this portion of butter. I am going to keep it like this. So we need to wash the butter very nicely for about 2 to 3 times changing the water and I am going to do so. This process will help the butter last for a longer time. So let us do it.
we need to squeeze the water very nicely with our hand I'm changing the water again and washing the butter again very nicely and now it's okay squeeze the water very nicely there should be no water in the butter and it will help it last longer so our butter is ready keep it in the fridge in the normal fridge it will last for about two months and in the freezer it will last for about seven to eight months so i'm taking a container to store the butter in the fridge i set the butter in the container nicely as you can see so i'm going to keep it in the normal fridge because i don't need to store it for a longer time so let's cover it and keep it in the fridge and now i'm going to make butter from the rest of the malai so i'm taking the mixer jar again and adding the rest of the malai in the mixer jar and doing the same process that i did for the first portion and here our butter is ready as you can see i'm taking the butter out from the mixer jar and uh, straining the butter milk with the help of the strainer and taking the butter out and now i washed the butter nicely for only one time because uh, i'm going to make ghee from this portion of butter so i don't need to wash it very nicely so i'm taking it out and now let's go for clarifying the butter ghee means clarified butter and now i'm adding the butter in the pan and i turn the heat on on medium to low heat and now we should not leave it like this we need to stir it very nicely to avoid burn from the bottom and after the butter is melted down we need to stir it continuously until the butter is clarified into ghee the heat should be on medium or medium to low after some time the butter has started to clarify as you can notice now i'm going to add a pinch of salt in it if you do so your ghee will be crystallized after cooling down so i have added a pinch of salt and after about one minute more this is the texture our ghee is ready now but i'm going to fry it for a little more time i'm going to make it a light red color this process will help our ghee last for a longer time so now our ghee is ready to strain i'm going to turn the heat off and remove the pan from the heater so let's remove it and now i'm going to leave it for some time after that i'm going to strain it after about 10 to 15 minutes this is our ghee it's not fully cool now it's warm now but now we can strain it there's no problem so i'm taking a bowl and i'm taking a strainer a tea strainer and i'm straining the ghee into the bowl So guys our ghee is ready ghee means our clarified butter is ready after it cools down fully you can store it in a container and you may store it for about a whole year and you don't need a fridge for this without fridge you can store it for about a whole year and enjoy it so let's let it cool down for some time and here our ghee is ready and our butter is beside it i'm going to show you the butter also i have taken it out from the fridge and here it is it's not fully set yet because i kept it in the fridge for a very little time so guys i got about 200 grams of butter and 150 grams of ghee from that quantity of malai so guys make your own butter and ghee yourself at your home and enjoy hygienic food if you're trying my process for making ghee and butter then don't forget to leave a comment and share your experience with me hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching hope to meet you in the next video bye bye